Welcome back to Sporns Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you the system I made using a peristaltic pump to make mushroom spore syringes or liquid culture syringes. This liquid culture jar has a quarter inch bulkhead adapter in the lid. It can be plastic or brass and it has a quarter inch tube reaching down to the mycelium and a rubber stopper on the top. peristaltic pump I'm using fits a 3 millimeter tube. So I used a quarter inch to 1 8 inch barbed adapter to connect the 9 millimeter tube to the 3 millimeter tube. A peristaltic pump uses a small motor to spin these wheels which pinch the tubing, moving the liquid along the tube without actually touching it. I sterilize all the tubing in a pressure cooker and then I attach it from the liquid culture jar to the peristaltic pump. I also sterilized the syringe caps in the pressure cooker. On the very end of the tube, I attached a lure lock 1 8 inch barb adapter to attach the syringe to. Once everything is connected, I turn on the peristaltic pump and purge the system into an empty jar until the liquid has reached the exit. I attach a sterile syringe and turn on the pump and it automatically fills the syringe within a few seconds. If you make a lot of syringes, you know it can hurt your hand a lot, so using this method really gets rid of that problem. With the tubing reaching all the way down to the bottom of the jar, you can get every last bit of spore solution or liquid culture. You can use a magnetic stir bar while it's pumping to prevent any clogs in the tubing. If you're doing many jars of the same species, you can change out the tube between jars or you can sterilize different sets of tubes for different species. I was surprised and happy that the system worked exactly how I thought it would in my mind. Some things I would do to improve this system would be to add a foot pedal and also maybe a better peristaltic pump that fits a quarter inch tube. I also experimented with adding more than one lure lock adapter to the end of the tubing to try to fill up more than one syringe at a time, but it seemed to not work as good when you do more than one syringe. So that's basically all there is to it. I got all the parts from Amazon, which I'll leave the links below in the description. If you're looking for a way to make many syringes at once, I hope this video helps you make your own peristaltic pump system.
you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.